So let me open up the mixer here in Logic and explain what are channel strip settings. So basically, channel strip settings are a saved chain of effects on any single track, a group bus, or the master uh, bus here. So one of the main ways I like to use channel strip settings is in fact for the mastering chain. So check this out. I've already created this chain here with a tube EQ at the top to shape the final sound of the mix. And then a compressor with a very light setting just to glue the mix together. Then a multiband compressor to tame the low end especially. Um, then a stereo imager to basically widen the depth of the mix. Then a final uh, limiter or maximizer, whatever you want to call it, to get a couple of more decibels out of the track in loudness level. And then finally a multi uh, meter to check the dynamic range, meaning the loudness level here in LUFS the stereo correlation, the overall frequency spectrum, and so on. Now, this is, in fact, my default mastering setup. So, if I want to use this on any other track, I simply have to call it up. But first, when you created this, you simply click here, up on the setting tab here on the mastering uh, chain, and then save channel strip setting, setting as which gets you to this folder, which is the master output. And you can see my mic's mastering chain here. Then uh, you can simply load it up in a new track. Like if I click here, you, I can remove all these, uh, this entire chain by left clicking and then reset channel strip. So let's say you're working on another composition and now you get to the mastering stage. Well, you can simply go to the master output, click here, use the channel strip settings, and here I have it. And of course, you can have several different mastering chains uh, that you save as a channel strip setting. So that's the channel strip here. And by the way, you can also use Logic's default settings. So for the master bus, if you click here, factory, and here you have default presets for the mastering chain. So let's say you work on a classical music track, load that up. This is simply an example of what you can use, a starting point if you wish or perhaps a modern rock track. This is another channel strip setting. But let's get back to my personal mastering chain. I also like to use mastering uh, or channel strip settings for the groups. So the channel groups when I mix. So these are my groups, as you can see, drums, percussion, drive, and fold this out. So you can see the individual tracks, but I'm talking about the groups here. So here you can actually, uh, let's say you have a bass group, you had a compressor, might add, let's say, a bass amp here, like so. And let's say you're happy with that now. Well, you can simply do the same th thing here, setting. And here you have other channel strip settings that Logic has in its factory bank, uh, which are different from the mastering master bus, because in the master bus, you have only these, whereas on the buses, the mixing groups, you get access to lots of different uh, settings. And you can also see user channel strip settings. Mike's bus setting is what I use here. So I can save this channel strip here, compressor and bass amp. And let's say I want to call it save channel strip setting as, and you see I'm in the bus folder here, here. Mike's bass bus, like so. And now that is saved. And now I can load that up on another group. Let's say you work on a new track again. Uh, reset channel strip setting. Let's say this is a new composition. Go to your bass track and load up. Use the patch, user channel strip settings, mics, bass bus, voila. And you have it there. And this also applies for the individual tracks inside the buses, inside the groups. So if I go to the sub bass bus here, let's say, um, I add whatever, a distortion fat effects here in mono on the sub bass. And let's say, let's say I'll add a channel EQ as well and do some heavy filtering like so. Uh, 
just for demonstration purposes here, now we can save that on the individual channel level. Left click on the setting here, shave channel strip setting as, and now I get into the instrument folder here. I can save that at Mike's sub base. Uh, yeah, just like that. And now that is saved. I can see it here, as you can see here. Now, another great reason to use channel strip settings is that you can actually compose and produce your tracks without these plugins added, because that will put a heavy strain on your computer and CPU. So if I reset this, when you produce your track, make sure your master bus is clean. You might want to have a, like a multimeter or something, but no heavy plugins there. And then when you get to the mixing and mastering stage, uh, especially the mastering stage, that's when you call up your favorite mastering chain channel strip, like so. And you can do the same for uh, the groups if you want as well, just to reduce the CPU power needed so you can focus on the composition and production stage of your track. Do you want to level up your skills in music composition, production and sound design? Then check out my online video courses on my website professionalcomposers.com. Level up your skills to maximize your music productions.